Sorry. What the hell are you laughing at? I told you I didn't have. Oh, come on! <laughs> We're in the same hat! Well, at least yours is backwards. <laughs> Damn it. It's bound to happen sooner or later. <laughs> If you like what you see so far, hit that bell for more. You don't talk like that. I don't. A game at the Carrier Dome would be awesome. I thought Dantanian DB. It was a good. It was a good idea. It was why a not, good idea. Why not do a, a preseason game in the Carrier Dome? What? It's a preseason game. A lot of Bills fans around here are like preseason. Eh, whatever. They take their kids. You know, it's it's not. There's only two of them, right? So just take one, toss it out there. Take another one because I mean you're already at St. John Fisher. True. Right? You're, you're already doing this, the Rochester thing. Go out to Syracuse. Do a game there. Why not? I just wanted to side, just sidestep just for a second. Um, like, I do my best to try and keep up with the comments and stuff, but when I go back to watch some videos, like, just so, for some reference material and stuff that we talked about, like, three, four weeks ago, yep. there's new comments on there. I can't promise that I can get to all of them. We don't get notification for all the, all the comments that no, we get. No, no. So it's tough to tell. Um, you know, if you subscribe and you hit the notification bell, then those are the comments that we, I can guarantee we get those. But if you don't hit the notification bell to get notified, I can't promise that we're going to see the comment if it's like a, something on a video like older than a week. I, I don't know if we're going to, I don't know if we're going to get Yeah, it. uh, yeah. We're, I mean, we're trying to get to all of those. Yeah, we yeah, try to get to all the comments. We, we, nice. we get to a lot of them, you yes, know? Yes, you do. Paul, no, that's Paul likes roasting me in half of them. Oh, anyway, yeah. It's so it. much fun. So defenseless. I am. <laughs> I am. I got to start making a rapid fire video. Again. Yeah, you do. So. You do. That was your one. That's your shot. You got to shoot your shot, buddy. <laughs> got to shoot your shot. So I, I, I really like the idea of putting a game in the carrier dome. Mm -hmm. And it, it could, because you're, like, you're, you're right. You, you practice at Fisher, playing Buffalo. Why not? have one of the preseason games be in the carrier dome. Yeah. That would be pretty sweet. I mean, you're not losing anything, right? Do you think that there would be more of a blowback from the people that consistently go to the preseason games? Uh, I don't know. Like, man. oh, I gotta drive three hours now or whatever, however long it is. I mean, I suppose that it would be a problem with the season ticket holders, right? But at season ticket renewal, if you said, FYI, one of the preseason games, we've you know, is going to be at the Carrier Dome this upcoming season. As long as you're clear about it before season, before season tickets renew, like yeah. you announce that near the end of next season, like, hey, great news, we signed a contract with Syracuse, and for the next two years, we're going to have a preseason game at the Carrier Dome. Just so you're aware you, of, you, you know, you as a season ticket holder, you'll get the tickets if you want them, but let yeah. us know when you renew whether you're going to accept the tickets or not, so they know what tickets to sell and which ones not to. Oh, yeah. That would be tough for people that like have been season ticket holders for like 15, 20 years. Though. They're like, all right, I always sell two of my preseason games to so-and-so. And yeah, but now, think, one, they're going to drive all the way out Yeah, there. but the I'm secondary just... market in Syracuse, I think, would, would be killer. Because I know you get Syracuse football out there, but you don't get Buffalo Bills football out there. I'm sure there's a lot of Bills fans who would love to love to see a game but just don't have the opportunity. It's a preseason game anyway. Well, what, what's to stop the Bills from saying, hey, listen, we'll buy those tickets from you mm -hmm. at face value? Whatever they are, we'll give you we'll give you some of your money back. Yeah. So we could sell them for twice well, as that's much. What I'm carrier saying. Dome. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the carrier dome is forty nine hundred people. Forty nine hundred. Four, or forty nine thousand. Say that. I was a journalism major in college. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> right. oh, geez. It's like it's like dead in here. <laughs> <laughs> New era field. Are you saying how many people would actually show up to a preseason game in Syracuse? Nah, no, they'd fill it. That, would be, <laughs> that place would be packed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's 71,000, almost 72,000. So it is almost half the capacity, right? Okay. But again, like you look at, imagine what would happen, right? The tailgate experience would travel because people would look at it and say, yeah, we're going to go to Syracuse for the game. You know, it's preseason. Oh, the, the tailgate God. experience would travel. So... Like it traveled to Houston, the tailgate experience when the Bills. Jacksonville. Oh, Jacksonville, yeah. It traveled to Jacksonville when the Bills made the playoffs. That, so it, it, it would travel to Syracuse. They drank Jacksonville dry. They did. They 
you sure did. That's impressive. I look at it this way, right? You're always looking to expand your Bills market. And once you get to central New York, now you're starting to get into Giants, Jets, and Steelers territory, right? Even the Steelers in central New York are a well, thing. No, I think, I think I think the further east you go, it's more Philly, maybe? Yeah. Because which, you're going there. Because if you come over here, there's a lot more Pittsburgh fans the closer in this way. Right. Not that, yeah. But I'm saying if you go... Do you, do you think that that's the case? Do you think that you're hitting an oversaturated, like you're beating a dead horse at that point? Because people well, in Syracuse naturally, you think they naturally cheer for the Bills. Well, no? you, I, <clears throat> you look at it this way, right? Syracuse is very much, you know, very much about the college experience, and people travel to go to Syracuse, right? So you're getting a yeah. melting pot of sports. Gotcha. But if you could take a professional sport and put it, because what other professional sport is in Central New York? Like, there's none. There's not. They, they have affiliates, right? So they've got, you know, they've got a baseball team. They, they, they've got affiliates, but they don't have an official sport. They, these people have to travel three hours to go see anything that's yeah. a professional sport. So bring it in. Yeah, the thing bring about it, drop it in. the thing about that is I went to school and I went to college in Pennsylvania, and uh, it's so interesting to see how the dynamic of Pennsylvania works because if you Eastern, you're you're uh, you're Eagles fan. Mm-hmm. West, you're a Steelers fan. If you live in Central PA, Penn State is your professional team. That's it. Yeah. Like, because you that's don't. That's absolutely true. You, you could cheer for the both pro, but that is your pro team. Well, that's why Central. Back when, back a long time ago, when Mario and I first met, we talked about Penn State getting sanctioned. That was the first con- sports conversation we ever had. Was so based on was. that's a long time ago. Was based on Jerry Sandusky and Penn State getting sanctioned, and it cost the program like fifty million dollars for yeah. sanctions. And you thought you just think about it, you go, "Oh my God, that football program generates fifty million dollars a year." And you're right. There's no competition. They are None. a professional sports team in Central. In Central. Oh yeah. You look at Syracuse, and that's how Syracuse is handled as well. In Central New York, there's affiliate sports teams, but there's no professional sports team. Let's take a preseason game, put it out there. What's it going to hurt? It's preseason. You're, the place, the capacity of, of New Era is half filled anyway. I, I think the you say it's, oh during preseason. Yeah, during okay. preseason games. A lot I of think people don't go or they give the tickets away or you know. I, 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 yeah, I think just people fear the, what inevitably could happen. Mm-hmm. Whereas, hey, it was a very it was a big hit. A lot of people went. The experience was amazing. Mm-hmm. We may even want to think about putting a regular season game there. I think that would. Sure, sure. That would probably that the fallout of doing that. I mean, I love the idea. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the idea. I think people would be just very hesitant about what would happen next. Right after that. Sure, sure. I get it. You know, it's not Toronto. You know, that was always the big How problem. How dare you, sir? It's not Toronto. <laughs> it's not. It isn't. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. <laughs> don't let talk. Don't talk. We don't talk about Toronto. Yeah, the Sky Dome is just terrible to see anything. Sky Dome is God. terrible. Can't, no. It's terrible. No way no. But, the, again, you put it out in Central, why not? Uh, I don't see it as a problem. Just as long as you're transparent right up front oh yeah. that there's going to be a game out there. Because that was the problem with the Bills was, oh, we signed this contract with Toronto. Ah, season ticket holders. We got you. We got you this year. You didn't see Only that one seven home games is ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. Good idea, Dan. I like it. I'm a fan. Let's do it. I realized it took me till today to realize his name was Dan Tanyan. I was like, Dan Tyon Dib? Dib? Dan I'm like, I don't know. It was Dan Tanyan. I was like, oh. Journalism. He didn't say I graduated. 